Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing our F1 Manager 23 with the Williams Racing Team. I checked the management. They want us to have 12 points in the Constructors Championship, which is going to be tough. And we're really good on finances. I'd like to take this time and apologize for this video taking so long to come out. I've been sick. It's Christmas. And I've been learning new things with this program. But with that being said, let's just get to the Miami Grand Prix strategy setups. Before we go into the Grand Prix, here are the strategies. I have the strategy set up like this because halfway through the race, rain is forecasted. So the plan is to push with hearts to the rain and then push harder on the inters to the finish and hope for points. Let's start the Miami Grand Prix. For the first three laps, try to stay with the cars in front. Pass if we can to move up the grid. We want to use the DRS to move up the grid on lap 4. Seeing most of the grid on softs and mediums gives me hope that the strategy is going to get us points. Let's go. Unfortunately, starting lap 4, we don't have DRS. But knowing Yuki's on softs gives us a chance to gain on him in a few laps. Since I don't think he'll be pushing as hard as we are. At the start of lap 5, our cars connect. And unfortunately, damage Albon's front wing. This is where I realized we only have one front wing for two cars. Time to manufacture more parts. Pitted Albon and changed only the front wing. And now Sargent gets a 5 second penalty. This just got challenging. On lap 7, after Albon's pit stop, I changed his strategy to attack from aggressive. Right after, a red flag. Boy... Does that help? The cause of the red flag was Perez spinning out and hitting the wall. On the restart, I made two changes. That was medium tires for Sargent and attack for Galbon. Some Same plan as the first three laps of the race. A few laps later, after the restart, we got Albon from last to 14th. Great restart. At the start of the 23rd lap, the rain started. Albon and Sargent also switched spots. At the end of lap 23, I pitted both cars for inters. This is where it looks like Sargent is going to have a bad race. Now, at the end of the race, not much happened. Both cars pitted one more time, pushed Albon as much as we could. Sargent's race was really hurt by that 5 second penalty. Albon finished 14th and Sargent 18th. That was the Miami Grand Prix. Your winner, Max Verstappen. For Imola, I went with the reverse strategies. To see if we can get points or learn about the cars. I have upgrades coming. More updates next video. Time for the Grand Prix. For the start. Just like last race. Stay with the cars in front. For the DRS of lap 3. And move up the grid. There was a yellow flag. On lap 2. From Ocon spinning. At the end of lap 3, we are, are in DRS range of Piastri. Everything is looking good. On lap 4, yellow flag. This time, Huckleberg. On the start of lap 5, we pass Piastri and take 14th. On lap 7, yellow flag. Sergeant crashes. Wow. Talk about bad luck for the Williams racing team. Here's where I put hard for Sergeant and realize I forgot to manufacture more front wings. Right after the set, after I set up pit, the pit stop, I looked over the car and decided to retire the car. 
Lap 9, we used DRS to pass Botas. Let's go. On lap 24, pinning Albon for hearts. Last stint went a couple laps extra. Hope it helps. Good pit stop. Since lap 24, we couldn't, we can't catch Yuki and Ocon past us. Oh, he he is on a, I think fresh mediums. Oh, um, bye. Okay, with the VSC, we can save fuel, battery, and tires. Then with we learn Leclerc has crashed as well and out for the race. At the green flag, on the green flag, I put Albon aggressive and pushing with fuel. Let's catch up to Yuki. On lap 42, we finally catch and pass Yuki. Let's go. On lap 53, we pit Albon for sauce. Last stop of the race to push hard. Well, that was basically the whole race. And at the finish, as you can see, Max Verstappen is your winner of this Grand Prix. On the start of Monaco Grand Prix, the strategy are both Albon and Sargent are starting on hards to mediums. Albon's lap 51 and Sargent is lap 50. Off camera, I sent out two scouts to find Sargent's replacements. We are scouting Ricardo and Gasly. On the upgrades, Spain might have full upgrades or Canada. Coming to lap 22, we had Yuki pass Albon and Joe pass Sargent. And that was all so far very uneventful race. And then it happened. Albon and Botas make contact. And facing, forcing a red flag. And Albon out for the race. No luck this season. On the restart after the red flag, I put Sergeant on softs to see if we can get something out of this race. As you can see, I totally screwed up Sergeant's plan throughout the whole entire race. So from here on out, it's just a crap race for Sergeant, unfortunately. Lap 43, we pit Sergeant and put him on mediums. I really think this season is a bust. Lap 63, pit for softs, last stop of the race. So far, this season has been a struggle so far. I think this it's time to look to next season's car. I am finishing all the upgrades and making sure we have enough for the season and do as much research as possible. I badly managed the race, but Sergeant did go from 18th to 15th. Not bad. Your winner, Perez. Now here in Barcelona, very great track. I love this track. Sergeant's uh, strategy here is softs to lap 19, hards to lap 46, and then to mediums. Albon's is hards to lap 30, to mediums, to lap 53, and then he's going to finish on softs. This one is also going to be played with a lot of yellow flags. And here is the first one. Let's see what happens. As you can see, it's going to be Pierre Gasly and one of the hosses. I can't remember which one it is. As you can see, they make contact, but they're ahead of us. So this is really good for us because now we can try to catch up to them. So, but it's a small little thing. You know what I mean? It was Magnuson. That's it. But then soon you're going to see another one here because Magnuson just got the five second penalty for it. Here's another yellow flag as you see Sergeant passing Gasly. Or Norris, I think. Here's Charles Leclerc, and I believe it's Perez. Then again, these guys are in front of us. This could actually help us out. So far, everything looks like it could end up helping us out a little bit. And then right here, we find out that the penalty goes to Perez. Which is really interesting. It's very interesting to know how this, some of this stuff goes. As you can see, here's another yellow flag. It was Norris spinning out on turn 5. I'm not going to do the spin outs or the lockups just to speed up the process here a little bit. Right here, this is where we pit Sergeant at lap 19 to go to his hearts. So far, we're not having too bad of a race considering we got Albon in 11th right now and he's 
He's doing pretty good, and I and Sergeant's doing pretty good too, even though we just pitted him right now. As you can see, here comes another yellow flag. The yellow flag was for Yuki spinning out on turn seven. Continuing on with the theme of the yellow flags, Signs had a lock up on turn one. Like, some of these things would help us out and stuff like that, maybe they'll go slower. But here's another yellow flag. Multiple cars have crashed again. Let's take a look. George Russell. Oh. And the great thing is, these guys, that guy was there in ninth. We're sitting with Albon in 12th, sitting pretty decent right now. And Russell gets the five-second penalty for that one, for causing a collision. Another yellow flag, again, like I said, this race was riddled with them. It was just DeVries running wide on turn 14, which, again, kind of helps us out a little bit because we get people... Our guys are doing really good. We're not in any instances right now, so we're having a really good race. There's no yellow flags, no crashes, no nothing. We're sitting nice. Here we go. We're pitting Albon for his mediums. And I'm not sh really sure which strategy really worked better. I think they both worked pretty good. We just didn't have the clashing in the pits, right? So we got Sergeant sitting up there in 13th. And everything's, like I said, everything's going pretty good right now. Like we just got Albon out of the pit. So he's, it's not like he's going to be in a good position right now. But we have been really, I, like, when I was doing this race, I was really trying to be, like, spot on with the strategies. I tried to give both of them fair opportunities to show me what that strategy could do with the car. And it was going pretty good. Um, you know, I think we had a solid race. Even up to this point, we had a, we're having a solid race. So, yeah. Another yellow flag here with the multiple cars crashing yet again. So once it pops up, we'll take a look here. What do we got? Pierre Gasly again. And look at that. Our car is right in front of these guys. So in a way that kind of bails us out of possibly getting into an accident. To me, we caught a lucky shot break right there. Right here, we'll start seeing. Oh, there's the arrow showing you what it is. Competitor lock up. And who was the lock up with? It was DeVries. Let me know if you guys like some of these animations and everything that I'm putting into the video. As you can see, guys, again, the five-second penalty. This is just new to me. I'm going to try it, see if any how everything works out, see if it works good. Hulk Hulkenberg spinning on turn five. And here we go with the virtual safety car. So, naturally, what I do with the virtual safety car or any safety car, I quickly start putting everybody's uh, tires and fuel and everything down to conserving it all but right here is where i also decide that i when looking at the driver strategies as we see what caused this virtual safety car with yuki spinning out and then crashing into the wall i always look over the cars look at the strategy see what's going on with strategies for both the, both tires see about the tire wear and everything i believe it's right here where i start looking at sergeants really quick and I start pulling him in for a pit because it's basically right on where he's going to be at anyway. And why not pit under a virtual safety car because then you don't lose as much time if it wasn't a safety car or any kind of safety car. So I quickly pit him, which I think if we didn't, I think he would have been like dead last if we didn't do it on a safety car. I think that's the only reason why I did do it on a safety car is because it's a chance to be able to conserve things and everything. As you see, Hamilton goes in as well. So we're not the only car that's taking advantage of the virtual safety car. Uh, Albon, Albon was still pretty good with his. I didn't really want to pit him and totally screw up the strategy considering when you see the strategy pop up, he's only like halfway through his stint. There's no way I'm pitting him under a virtual safety car being like that. Safety car, potentially, because I'd be like right up behind people and everything. But as you see, not basically nobody went into the pits at all. So 
it all worked out for everybody anyway. Right here. See, he's like coming up to the end of it, but he's still pretty good. I'm not going to pit him yet. But overall, like, I really think that this track was like one of the best races we've had the entire season. Just... I don't know. I don't know if it was everybody getting involved in incidences on the on the track with all the yellow flags and everything or what it was, but you know, just the strategies I believe were pretty solid. Like as you can see, Albon at the virtual safety car is back up to eleventh. And then, as you see, Sergeant comes out at, like, 17th. Now, like I said, if we didn't pin him under the safety car, he probably would have been dead last. And right now, he gets to conserve his mediums that he's on. So, hopefully, that will help because he gets to conserve fresh tires right off the bat without pushing. I guess the only problem would be his temperature's not up. I never really thought of that at the time. I'm thinking about it now. Well, there we go. We're going to end the virtual safety car. I believe this is going to start bringing us basically, almost basically to the end of the race here pretty quick here. Because like I said, this is just a short one because I'm jam-packing four races into one video for you. Uh, this was just to also speed up the season a little bit more, even though I believe it actually took us back a little bit because I started... Learning a little bit more about the program I use on my PlayStation. And also the fact that it's Christmas. I got sick. I'm just getting over it now. Uh, another yellow flag. Like I said, this race was riddled with them. The race with, I believe, the lockup. Signs with, with her going wide, I believe. But like I said, we come up to the final lap here. I think it was a pretty good race, 11th and 13th coming up on the final lap. I believe it's going to be Max Verstappen who's going to be your race winner. Again, I want to apologize for how long this video took to come out. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'm hoping to get you guys some videos very, very soon. Uh, I plan on having some art content coming up here in the new year, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.